inspiring to see so many people out there. And I wanted to begin on behalf of all of us by thanking the South African Zionist Federation, Chairman Mr. Avram Kringle, Vice Chairman Ben Schwartz, Isla Feldman, and all of those who put so much effort in making today possible. We are all so grateful to you. Thank you so much. I would like to acknowledge the presence of Ambassador Arthur Lenk and his deputy, and also all of the honorable religious and political leaders who have joined us this afternoon. And to thank everybody, and all of them and their supporters for their support. And I would like to echo the thanks to the South African police services to arrive here at the grounds this afternoon and to see a South African police services helicopter in the skies looking after this gathering and seeing the men and women in uniform from the police and from Metro and from all of the law enforcement agencies is truly a sight to behold and it's something that we are grateful for. We are grateful and we give, us, we give our thanks to the South African government, but we do so by virtue of right, because we are South African citizens and we have a democratic right to support the State of Israel. We are South African citizens and we have a de democratic right together with millions of South Africans across this country to support the State of Israel, the people of Israel, and indeed the Israeli Defense Forces as well. That is our democratic right. And we exercise that right with pride. We exercise that right with pride and we say to all of our detractors and all of those who wish to criticize that we are gathered here, thousands of people are gathered here, but we represent millions across South Africa. And we call on the South African government to take note that millions of the citizens of this country have a different view of the situation from what you will read in the newspapers. That millions of South Africans have a different view of the situation from what you will hear on radio and what you will see in the hate speech of Twitter and Facebook the sewers of racism that is out there on social media, that does not represent South Africa. South Africans, millions, stand for freedom, for democracy. And South Africa is a proud democracy. And therefore, as South Africans, we look to the State of Israel, another proud and free democracy, from one democracy to another, with a voice of freedom and human rights that should go throughout this country and indeed throughout the world. There's a, a passage in the Gemara in the Talmud, where one of the sages of the Talmud describes this world. And you know what he calls this world? An amazing phrase that I think so captures so much of what is happening. He says this, Olam hafuch ra'iti. I have seen an upside down world. Olam hafuch. And friends, do you not feel that we live in an upside down world? Olam hafuch. Can the world not see? Is it not obvious? that when a terrorist state goes to war against the only true democracy in the Middle East and sends over more rockets than the Germans sent over bombs during the London Blitz, and that only true democracy responds with restraint to the extent that Colonel Richard Kemp, the commanding officers of the British forces in Afghanistan said that never before in the history of warfare has any army conducted itself with such morality and ethics and care for the casualties of civilians than Tsahal, the Israeli Defense Forces. But it's an upside down world because this terrorist state, led by Hamas, who is a threat to the national aspirations of the Palestinian people, Hamas, who is an ideological ally of Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab and ISIS and all of the 
extremist, violent organizations in this world. And when that terrorist state goes to war against the only democracy in the Middle East, and that democracy responds with unprecedented restraint, then who is the villain and who is the victim? Olam HaFuch, is it not an upside down world? And yet, what is our response? We do live in an upside down world. But that's why we are here today. Not because we're going to be able to change the opinion of people all around. We are here today to draw strength from within. And there is an amazing passage in the Chumash when the Torah describes how when they went out to battle, the Kohen, the priest, would say to the soldiers, he said to them in these words, and it's in chapter 20 of the book of Devarim, in Parshat Shoftim, when it says, when you go out to war, and it says, the Kohen says to the troops, he says to them, do not be afraid. Al tiru, do not be afraid. Al tachbazu, do not panic. Do not be broken before them. And he mentions four expressions of fear. Do not be afraid. Do not panic. Do not be broken. Do not be faint of heart. And Rashi, quoting from the Talmud, says that it refers to the four tactics that the ancient kings used to adopt in order to intimidate. They would rub their shields together to create a tremendous noise. They would poke their horses so that there would be neighing and lots of noise coming from the horses. They would sound trumpets and they would shout and scream to intimidate the troops. And the Kohen said to the soldiers, don't be afraid. The Chofetz Chaim one of our great sages who passed away in the 20th century said that these verses apply not only to the actual military battle, but the battlefield of ideas, that we will be out there in the world and there will be people who will come to intimidate us and to cast fear into our hearts. And they will try through all kinds of things to make noise. And then we have to not be afraid because Hashem Elokeichem because the Lord your God is with you. And it's this time when we are surrounded by those who wish to intimidate us. And there are some of them standing outside the grounds of Huddle Park who are coming here to intimidate us. And they come to try and intimidate us on Facebook and on Twitter and through the news broadcasts and the newspapers and the television and every medium they will try and there will be violent protest marches in London and Paris and Frankfurt and throughout the world and they are trying to intimidate us and that is why we are gathered here to say to all of them we are not afraid we are proud of who we are we are not afraid we are not afraid because we have the cause of justice on our side we are not afraid because we have almost 4,000 years of history behind us. The legitimacy of the State of Israel did not begin with the Balfour Declaration nor any United Nations resolutions. It began almost 4,000 years ago when Hashem said to Abraham, Lech Lecha, go to this land that I have promised you. This is our land. And that is why we're not afraid. We stare them all in the face, and that is why we have gathered here this afternoon to send a message throughout South Africa and indeed throughout the world that we are standing proud, we are standing strong, and we don't have to come and convince you and win you over because we have millions behind us. And more importantly than having millions behind us, we know that we have the cause of justice and we have Hashem with us. We know we can stand before Hashem with a clear conscience, and that is all that matters. And when we draw from that internal strength, no one can intimidate us and no one can make us afraid because we have the cause of right on our side. And that's why we are here today to say those words, you know, when we finish the Chumash. What are the words that we say when we finish a book of the Chumash? Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazak. Be strong, be strong and let us draw strength. That is what it means to be a Jew, to be strong. And we've seen enemies before. This is not a new thing. 
There have been generations who have come and gone and they have tried to intimidate us one generation after another for thousands of years. But you know what, friends? They're gone, forgotten in the footnotes of history. And one day when the history of civilization is written, we will be there to tell our story. We will be there to tell our story and all of our enemies will be long forgotten. Chazak, chazak, venit chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us draw strength. And may God Almighty bless us all. God bless you and thank you.